making today? Isn't it fun? Very full coverage foundation. I don't show that. I tell you what I use in the blow. Um, it's basically the eyes, cheeks, and lips. Um, since the foundation routine rarely changes, just the product. And I figured that saves muscle time so I can chat with you more. And then a bright lip. I think it's lovely. Lovely. I tried to match my nails. I tried. It's not perfect. It's close. It'll do. It does in a pinch. So I used, I was using my uh, haha, collection of Divergent that came out from Sephora during the holidays. And I think I used a color in every palette. <laughs> um, and I used the blushes and highlighters. So if you want to see me create this look, which I love, see that little pink pop? Should I show you how I got it? I will. You keep on watching. I'm going to start using the Milani Shadow Eyes and Almond. I think it's almond, almond cream. And I am going to rectify this darkness. Even though I'm going to make it darker again. The things we do for cosmetics to make them work for us, huh? Pretty excited. Tonight is Game of Thrones. Alright, some nice tacky base. If you can't get to a MAC store but you have Milani, pick up one of their cream sticks instead of using a paint pot. They work pretty darn good. I'm just taking this all the way from lid to brow bone. They're not as um, emollient per se, but they work great. Just dusting some powder over that so they're not too sticky. Yeah. Okay. Grabbing for a palette. I'm using my Divergent uh, collection from Sephora. For this look, I'm going to take some Serene Vanilla. This creamy white color. I don't know why, but I like to start with my eyebrow base and work down. Nice, bright shock of color. Game of Thrones is on. Game of Thrones is on. It's my party look for Game of Thrones. Do you have a party look for Game of Thrones? Alright. Now I'm going to go back. Let's see. I'm going to use Radiant Initiation. It's a lavender taupey shade. And put that in my upper crease area. I don't know how to call it because I don't have a crease. Really? I don't have like that indent. That beautiful like share indent. But that's okay. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. So I just created that little haze with the radiant initiation. See my bow earrings. Aren't those fun? Charming Charlie is amazing. Check it out. Got a couple pairs of earrings. Got myself a bag. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going in with Altruistic Almond now. It's a creamy, buttery color, matte. So far, um, two of the eyeshadows I've used have been matte, and one has been like a satin. The lighter colors have been matte. All right, I want to grab for a little crease brush. This one's a. The Essentials Crease Brush by Will Techniques, and I'm going to go into Abnegation Stone, Abnegation Stone, and shimmer it back and forth. Somebody's getting seconds. Back and forth, back and forth, into my crease, creating that definition.
Also hear my doggies walking around. So I don't know if this Divergent line is going to rename itself. I really like the eyeshadows. And I know they don't have anything left to add the Sephora's. The lip glosses were okay, and I'll be using the blush and contour and highlight also from this, this collection. Um, but I have really been enjoying these eyeshadows greatly. Alright, let's see. And then with the same brush, I'm going to take a little of this Dauntless ink. Just a little bit. Right into my base corner. Base, base, base. Gotta have base. Just like that. Not even blending it too much, just kind of pushing it into that corner. Pushing it down, pushing it into that corner. Where's my detail brush? So I'm going to take the abnegation, abnegation, I can't ever say it right, uh, stone right here and push it down across my eye. Like that. Here comes the fun part. I'm going to use um, this liner by Wet n Wild. It's in uh, Stacy and it's Pink. I'm gonna make a pretty thick line. That. Do the other side. Pink set. Set, 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 set. Sorry. Let it set. What was I looking for? Oh, I've got my Eye of Horus uh, smoky pencil in black. What a tight line. Cute, huh? And waterline. Almost to the corner. With a liquid liner. Let's see which one did I grab. Uh, L'Oreal Carbon Intense. It's all rubbed off. We're now going to do the lash line in a black. Mimicking that shape and wing of the pink. There. One flick. Have fun. I think it's fun. Why not? Have fun with your makeup. Have fun! Fun in the sun. <clears throat> Curl my lashes. Some very black mascara from Tarte. Light camera lashes. Bam! It's a great mascara. I love it. It doesn't irritate my eyes. One coat. I love 
mascaras that you can do like one coat if you're in a hurry and they look decent. Second coat. I love this mascara. Buy some! Okay, in this divergent, we got this little palette here of color and contour. Mm. So I'm using the brush that came with it, the divergent brush. I'm going to swipe down my nose and blend it back. Narrowing my nose tip and shortening it up because it needs it. And then, using this side, I'm going to take that same bronzer that has a slight satin sheen. It's not it's not shimmery though. And do my temple area with it. Other side. And pick up any more product there on purpose and my under chin okay and then for some blusher 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 i'm going to use this uh delicate misty rose color just a little bit of the brush and towards the back of my cheek just gonna feather that in and then with the edge of the blush brush i'm going to take gleaming pearl and sweep from my eyebrow like a slide. See that? Isn't that nice? And a little on the tip of my nose. And I keep it both. Uh, <laughs> why not? Have fun with your makeup peoples! A lot of. Whatever. Um, oh, yeah. I'm gonna use some Milani Anti Feathering Lip Liner. It's clear. can't see me do this because it's clear. I'll let that lip liner set for a second and grab my detail brush and uh, let's see, I'll transform shade. This choose right here, beautiful shimmer. And press that right here for a subtle sheen. It's very sexy stuff. Lingerie from an eyeball corner. Just very shimmery. Alright, and with this lipstick from Sephora in the color 0270CR09. Straight from the bullet. side. Now to make it match my nails more, I'm going to throw on this mega lip gloss and Ice Princess. It smells like goodness. better match. That's a better match. So let's see. Just a little blend, blend, blend. This is the look. Let me pop my hair down real quick like. <laughs> I think it's very pretty. I actually think this is day appropriate and that little pink eyeliner is just a pop of something extra. I love this color. It's a surprise. It's not red. It reminds me a little of Cherries in the Snow by Revlon, which is one of the first reds they came out with back then and there. Um, I think it's a fun look. I'm ready to go watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> I have somebody making noise in the back. That's kind of fun. Anyhow, if you liked 
if you like this look, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know. Questions, comments, I love them. I always answer back. It ain't easy being green. A really bright pink. But it sure is fun! See you next time.